This is Dr. Jim Cece, Senior Pastor Teacher at Campus Bible Church of Fresno. We're blessed in the San Joaquin Valley to have so many fine Bible teaching churches. However, if you do not have a church home and you're looking for a place where the Word of God is central, why not try out Campus Bible Church? We're pleased to announce that we now meet in two locations with a variety of weekend worship services and ministry for all ages. One location is on Maple Avenue, a half a mile south of Fresno State University. The other is on Palm Avenue, just one block north of Shields. For more information, you can go online to campusbiblechurch.com or call the church office at 291-9116. I also want to personally invite you to listen to The Ambassador's Call, our radio teaching ministry, every Saturday morning at 7 a.m. and Sundays at 12 noon here on this station. Again, this is Dr. Jim Cece, praying that you will, in the words of the Apostle Paul, glorify God in your body today. From AM 1680, The Answer, this is Business Leaders with Lance Cardoza, the -the behind-the-scenes story of the business shakers and movers in the valley and beyond. And now, here's your host, Lance Cardoza. Hello, everybody. Welcome to AM 1680, The Answer, Business Leaders Live, every Tuesday morning at 9 a.m., and you can catch all the past episodes of the Business Leader Interviews at LanceCardoza.com. That's Lance Cardoza, C-A-R-D-O-Z-A.com. And last week on Tuesday, we were live, and I have Jose in the studio producing today. We were out there with Cody, and we were live at the World Ag Expo. And uh, Jose, you were back here in the studio, and you could tell there was a lot of excitement going out there, Jose, but uh, it was really incredible to be out there and talk to some of those companies and a lot of technology in the business of agriculture and just finding new innovative ways to be able to increase the yield of crops, uh, be able to manage the farm and the operation through irrigation uh, technology. And, and just uh, and the one, Gus, which really impressed me also, too, was a global unmanned spraying system that was out of Kingsburg, California. And I, I describe it as it's like it's a machine out of Terminator. And I'm sure Dave and Gary, they're going to love uh, that the little free plug again. But Gus System, this thing's incredible. And it's ran by, if you imagine, a TV news truck parked out on site with a guy inside of it. And he operates at least eight of these throughout the orchards, the stone fruit orchards. And it's just going up and down through, it could be nut trees or whatever, spraying and knowing exactly how much to spray, where and when and how. And just incredible. And it does look like a thing out of a movie. It's pretty... Uh, it's intimidating when you walk up and look at this thing, Gus. But that uh, solar uh, shrink, which was a a plastic piece that just covered over a row to be able to keep your pesticides and everything contained within that row and keep from weed control, a company out of Australia and the company's looking at coming out here and, and looking at putting a uh, location to be able to distribute here in the United States. So a lot of incredible things. 71 different countries are represented at the World Ag Expo last week and what a, a big, big, if you will, convention with uh, the farming community. So we were live out there, but in the studio this week, we're talking about downtown Fresno, which is one thing that's very near and dear to my heart. Also, Pastor Franklin earlier talking about it. We had a little tease on there. We have Talisha Brantley. And Talisha Brantley, you are with Bitwise Industries. Thank you for being on Business Leaders Live. You you have fun i can tell <laughs> yes. i'm down there to bitwise south stadium all the time and uh, we have a little spot there and uh with business street and uh, as we come through the building you guys are always up to something fun it's always very interesting of what you guys are doing give the listeners what is bitwise industries bitwise south stadium as a sort of what is it just in general so it gives us an idea well in general uh bitwise south stadium is a technology hub so there's uh, I know we have probably like a hundred or so different uh, technology companies within the building. Uh, they're all independently owned and operated. And so we provide space to them and sort of a cool space to go. Um, and then we also have some amenities. So they have a coffee shop, which is open to the public. Mabel's Kitchen is there. <coughs> Excuse me. We have a UPS store, uh, gym in the basement. Um, we also gym in the basement, yeah, gym in the basement, yeah, which love. is open to the public. It's love, open twenty four hours a day. Yes, uh, which comes in handy. Um, and then we also have a theater, so we run events 
there as well, which is what I do. Okay. Um, and then Bitwise's side, so not only are we a property management company, but we also have a development company, Shift3 Technology, so we build websites and web apps. Um, and then in the basement, we have an academy, GeekWise Academy, where we teach people how to code at night. Um, so if you have a skill or you, or you don't have a skill, you want to learn something new, you can. Um, <clears throat> and if you're a seasoned developer, you can also come because we have advanced courses as well. Wow. So, and that's GeekWise Academy. Mm-hmm. And that's a separate company. It was started with Bitwise Industries, correct? Or is mm-hmm. it still part of Bitwise they're Industries? All, as well? They're all under the Bitwise brand. The Bitwise Industries mm-hmm. brand. And I notice uh, you'll have buses from schools from the surrounding areas yeah, that are coming in. Yeah, we have kids in. coming in all the time. <laughs> all the time. Kids coming in and taking a look at the place. And then at night, uh, when downtown is sleepy, five o'clock, a lot of mm-hmm. people are leaving downtown. Bitwise is humming. It's yeah. hopping. Yeah, it's my job basically to make sure that there's something happening there every night and of the, the week and the classes with geekwise academy in the evenings mm-hmm. they're they're there all the time so yeah they're the there from six to nine six to nine mm-hmm. o'clock so anybody that is interested in technology <clears throat> or wanting to get their feet wet or start that's what geekwise academy could get them a yeah you can up. start um the beginners class which is websites for beginners as long as you're comfortable with the computer and you know how to open a web browser you have an email address um you can they will have you build a website within six weeks so in six weeks time you will have a website and then if you take the second course which is responsive for mobile uh, responsive websites um, that teaches you how to take the website you have and then make it responsive across all platforms so phone tablet computer things like that well so talisha you uh a friend of ours and and we love we love uh, talking with you when we're in the building all the time they one of the things that uh I talked about at the beginning was having fun and you run the theater the john yeah. w dodson theater mm-hmm. and that theater uh, is incredible when you first walk into the lobby of bitwise south stadium the big colorful building downtown you don't realize that this theater is tucked away in the back corner yeah it's off to the side <laughs> yeah and you go to the back and you open the doors and i love looking at everybody's face when they walk into this theater and go whoa well they usually wow. walk in like look right and yeah, then they, they the look left <laughs> and then it goes all the way to the second floor. And that's when they're like, whoa, it goes all the way to the back. It's like, yeah, it spans the first and the second floor. Yeah. Um, and it's it's long, narrow, skinny. Um, but it's it's that way. It's very unique because it used to be the ramp for the car. So that's where the cars, it used to be a it was car, a car garage. dealership. Yeah. It was a car dealership and a garage. Um, it was owned by the Phelan family. Um, so the garage was in the basement and the showroom floor was on the first floor and the second floor was the car wash. And so they had ramps that would take it from the, the basement to the first to the second floor. Um, and so that's the ramp that was left that we didn't take out. So when I had Jake Soberall and Irma uh, Ogwen Jr., did mm-hmm. I get it right? Okay, so when Irma was on here and they were first talking about looking at that building and they walked in, one of the things that uh, Jake did, he walked in and saw the ramp and said, ah, this is this building's not going to work out for us. There's ramp and a car ramp we don't Mm -hmm. need a car ramp and irma was like oh no hey we'll rip that out we'll put seats and And we'll make it into a theater i want to make it in a theater and jake was like no you're crazy it's not gonna work (laughs) and look now jake it's like that's the crown jewel when you walk into that building you're like and and irma saw the forest through the trees i like that i pointed that out when i had them here on the station so uh but uh, it is a beautiful property bitwise south stadium you got to get in there and take a look at it bitwise industry is sort of an umbrella of all these different uh, tech support to anyone in the tech industry and looking to develop their company and grow their company. It's uh, almost like an incubator of technology um, yeah, companies. It is, it is like an incubator, but we say that we're not an incubator or not an accelerator. Yeah. Um, we just provide space. So space, yeah. it's, it's basically like, let's take a bunch of really cool, smart people, let's put them all in one building and see what happens. Yeah. And then part of my job is pulling them out of their offices sometimes and say, talk to each other. Network, um, yeah. <laughs> network with yeah. each other, which usually works with free beer and free food now, free most beer. of the time. Yeah. So <laughs> one of the things I really love is you got Thursdays, you were doing beer wise. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And beer wise was a lot of fun because you got people to come down in the lobby right at the end of the day and they would connect and mm-hmm. just talk over a new craft brew here in town and uh, that yeah. was always a lot of fun. So you create a lot of these community events, and that's mm-hmm. what you do with your role? Yes, I do that, and then um, also outside events. So um, we rent the theater out to the public, so I help with that, um, and with all those rentals, and then running right now the AV side, um, but also running our own events, so concerts or geek night, like free events, things like that, um, to bring the community into our building uh, and let them see who we are. 
yeah. and sort of expose them to us and be like, this is here that you can have fun here. And this is, you know, and then from there sort of plug them in somewhere inside the building where they come back and get a coffee or they use UPS or they become a gym member or they work out of our hashtag, which is our open workspace. Uh, yeah. you and know, that's there, the old Virginia <clears throat> hotel. Yes. In the basement of the Virginia hotel down on Kern street, mm-hmm. Kern street. And yep. that's hashtag and hashtag describe. So what hashtag is? What so is hashtag, hashtag uh, I describe it as bitwise light. Uh, Jake describes it as Starbucks without a barista. So you know how, <laughs> if you've ever worked on but the you road, can still get coffee there. And you can still get coffee there. <laughs> um, so if you've ever worked on the road or you've worked remote, um, you've, I've done this before in uh, San Mateo where I've slowly walked around courtyards from coffee shop to coffee shop and milking a latte or drinking a tea to use their internet. Um, so this is $39 a month. It's month to month. You can come in 24 hours a day. There's internet. You have TVs. You have conference rooms, workspace. Um, there's a kitchenette, free coffee, tea, all that. And you have security access to get mm-hmm. in there in and out 24 yep. hours 24 hours a day. Hours a day. Another 24 hours a day. And, and what a great place to just go and maybe for an attorney even. Yeah, anybody just really. Just pull aside and yeah, and be able to just have a quiet space to go work and, and get something done. Uh, during this program, I want to talk about several things. You talked about concerts. You guys have concerts that are coming mm-hmm. into the John W. Dodson Theater. When we come back here on Business Leaders Live, I want to get into that. Also, Talisha, you didn't uh, go to school for something that said that no. you're going to work at Bitwise <laughs> Industries nope. and this is what you're going to do. And you're going to be sort of the ambassador of fun and yeah. activities for the community to bring them in and be a part of this. So when we come back, I want to get into that too. Talisha, where did you start off in Fresno? How did you come to Fresno if you weren't from here? So we'll talk about some of that too. So downtown Fresno, it's on Van S. It's 700 Van S. And it's right down by where the Double Tree Hotel is, right? We're off right the behind set, it. Right behind it. And it's Bitwise South Stadium and Bitwise Industries. And if you've driven down the 41, you saw a big sign on the old spaghetti factory. And that building is the future of what Bitwise Industries is working on. When we come back, more with Bitwise here on Business Leaders Live. Tune in this Wednesday from 9 to 10 a.m. to Frontline Radio with Ben Burkwam, your unashamed, unafraid political evangelist, exposing the left and mobilizing the right to stand in the Central Valley across the state of California and around the country. Christ, family, country, it's live, it's local. It's Frontline Radio with Ben Burkwam on AM 1680. The answer brought to you in part by FrontlineAmerica.com. Your source for updates on the battle to restore California's and America's identity. I found myself in the darkest point of my life. I spent four and a half years in the military. I deployed to Iraq three times. I came home. I didn't necessarily know how to handle myself and the issues that I had going on inside of me. So I turned to drugs, which was about the dumbest thing that I could have ever done. At the Fresno Rescue Mission, people, like William, learn that past mistakes don't have to define them. The mission provides emergency services, life-changing recovery programs, life skills courses, and job training. They invest in people that bring out the best in people. I ended up coming to the Fresno Rescue Mission for that help and that change. They give above and beyond what they're called to do. This holiday season, you can share in this gift of life for just $1.76, the cost of a meal. You can help someone in need find hope and the future. Donate today by calling 268-0839. Or go online to FresnoRM.org. I'll be attending college, and I'll start towards my bachelor in Christian ministry, and I'm really excited about that. Hey guys, this is Pastor Sean Beatty from Clovis Hills Community Church, and I want to tell you about a new radio show. It's going to be 9 a.m. to 10 every Friday morning, and it's called Redefine Defiance. It's spirituality for the rest of us. That's really what it is. Here's what I want you to know. If you're one of those people that you love God, but you're not perfect, you don't have the whole Bible memorized, you haven't, you know, been born in the back row of a Baptist church and you've got it all together, well, this is the show for you because we're going to come together and we're going to learn from the Bible. We're going to tell stories. We're going to laugh and we're going to have a good time. My co-host, Pastor Scott Hinman, and our producer, Beast Mode, we're going to come on and we're going to bring the word to you in a new fun, exciting way. So come see us on 1680 The Answer. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Stop 
Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts today and pick up five quarts of Mobile One full synthetic motor oil for $28.95. Plus get a $10 O'Reilly Auto Parts gift card after mail-in rebate and earn double O rewards points with your purchase. Protect your engine with Mobile One full synthetic motor oil at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Limit supply. See store for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Loans are made by web bank. Rates and terms vary based on credit history. Amazon is not a sponsor of this promotion. Other restrictions apply. See website for details. I was making great progress on building my savings, but then I get hit with an unexpected car repair bill. Keeping a close eye on my credit score allowed me to buy my first house, but an unexpected medical emergency set me back. When the unexpected happened, Avant was there to help. If you need to borrow $2,000 to $35,000, try Avant. It's fast, simple, and transparent. Everything is done online. There are no prepayment fees and no collateral is required. And you can instantly check your rate with no impact to your credit score. Over 500,000 customers have experienced the convenience of a loan through Avant. No wonder Avant has an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. And now, Avant will give you a $50 Amazon.com gift card after your first payment is made on time. To check your rates and to get this special radio offer. Go to Avant.com today and enter promo code 8000 when applying. That's A-V-A-N-T.com, promo code 8000. Go to Avant.com today and enter promo code 8000. Giving you the inside story of business leaders in the Valley and beyond. This is Business Leaders with Lance Cardoza. Welcome back, everybody. Live here at AM 1680, The Answer. Sitting with Talisha Brantley, with Bitwise Industries, and her home is there at Bitwise South Stadium, Fresno and Van Ness, or uh, 700 Van Ness. And it's the big, colorful building when you're coming down Van Ness and you're rolling into downtown. A lot of people come into downtown and they run in for whatever service you're trying to take care of and they run out of town and they go, wow, downtown is turning the corner. There's a lot of incredible things that are happening downtown. And we heard uh, before we started Business Leaders Live, uh, Jim Franklin from the Jim Franklin Show as we were doing a little teaser to let you know what Business Leaders Live, he was talking about Bitwise come to the, the north end of the triangle on the <laughs> other side of the Fulton Mall as he called it. It's now Fulton Street. So this beautiful, what Fulton Mall was, is now Fulton Street. And if you go down there late in the evening, there's traffic going up and down Fulton Street and the beautifully lit and a lot of uh, exciting things on the cusp of happening downtown Fresno. My good buddy Terrence Frazier downtown lighting everything on fire just incredible what he's doing and the ideas are flowing developers are looking at downtown fresno and before they were doing that in a little place north of the downtown triangle was a little group that jake soberall and irma ogwin jr came together and they started a little business called bitwise industries Mm -hmm. and they started bringing these technology companies together and helping each other out to have space to be able to work uh, within this communal area uh, they outgrew that space. And I remember going there and touring a long time ago with Jake, and I saw GeekWise Academy. Uh, when it was upstairs. Upstairs. It was <laughs> a little upstairs, tiny room. A little tiny room. And when we were during the break, we were talking about how did you get involved with Bitwise, Talisha? And, yeah. Uh, tell your story. So you you were looking to, uh, just like our producer sitting here, Jose was saying, mm-hmm. hey, I looked up online before for code writing, and, and I saw GeekWise Academy. Yeah. Um, so it was... Oh my gosh, I guess it was like three or four years now. It doesn't feel that long, but um, I was working at a magazine, a local magazine here in town, and I was working there as a a part-time, and then I was also working at a yearbook uh, company as well, and I did graphic design, Mm -hmm. and I was freelancer, which... If anyone's been a freelancer, it kind of sucks a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you're hustling, you're hustling all the time and trying to and find no the rest. next payday. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, and I was talking to my partner, Shannon, at the time, and I said, you know, I would love to learn how to build websites. Um, and I tried on my own when I played roller derby. Well, I was at, in roller derby a little bit still. When the time. I played roller derby, I did. That's well, the first I first here at Business Leaders Live. I was a head ref for roller derby. <laughs> oh, you're the referee. Okay. I was a head ref. All right, um, so you and started so, the fights. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I stopped them and then they yelled at me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I had tried to build a website and I couldn't learn. I said, you know, at, at that time after that i was like if i could learn how to build a website i could open up my portfolio because now i can also do print and web um and so i you know she sent me an email and she said hey um, i saw this you got some publication about a place called geekwise academy and i read it and i well i just glanced at because i was working and i said well you know i thought it was for kids and i was like well if it wasn't for kids it was for adults i would totally be on that right now and she's like well read it some more it's actually for adults and i was like really okay and she's like 
she literally came that day, picked me up, drove me down to the mural district. They were still building um, the houses right there. Everything yeah. was under construction. The Simis were building across the street. They were all the building. Street. They weren't yeah. even up. It was just like yeah. frames. And uh, I walked in and I met Anna Jacobson um, and signed up for a class right then. And I started within like a week. And so after that, it was just all downhill from there. I took two classes. I took... Um, it was all uphill, right? Or it uphill, I guess. Yet. Uphill or downhill, I don't know. <laughs> it was uphill. <laughs> <laughs> so I took... Back then it was boot camp one and two, so yeah. I took that. Um, then I took a break. And boot camp one and two is sort of like introduction to. Yeah, now it's um, beginners uh, websites for beginners, and then the second course, which is the um, responsive design. Okay. Um, so I took a break. Then I got into JavaScript, which is a lot. Uh, it, it's a, a programming language. Most people learn it first, um, it, and it is a new language. So I can read it, but I couldn't code in it. Yeah. Um, and then at the very end of that, I had just signed up for the second one because I thought, well, if I just take more, eventually it'll sink in. Um, they had opened up a position. I saw it on Facebook that the administrative position had opened up at Bitwise. And I was like, oh, my gosh, OK, I have to do this. Yeah. Um, so immediately that that night I went home, you know, got with my partner. I said, can you help me? You know, we have to fix my resume because it's all leaning towards graphic design. I need to make it lean more towards administration. Mm -hmm. um, so we sort of tried to hide it as much as we could. Um, and then I did something I'd never done before. I uh, was very bold in my, uh, <laughs> Jake will attest to this, in my in my uh, cover letter. Said, Jake is probably laughing. Yeah, he probably right is. <laughs> I sent, it's, it's bright purple, my resume. Um, and on the front page is a finger pointing out. Uh, and it says, you should hire me because I'm awesome. And here's why. <laughs> with a finger pointing down to the next page. So you scroll to the next page and then it's my cover letter about why I would like to work there. Yeah. And then my resume. Um, and so I think the next day or that afternoon, I got an email from Jake. Hey, I'd like to interview. And I was like, okay. So I come in and he's, you know, talking to me and we are obviously opposites of each other. Um, yes, he's, a suit, suit he's wearing, in a suit and tie. Yeah. Like I'm in a, also in a suit shirt, and tie, which suit. is weird. Yeah, you know, because you know, oh, you were in a suit and tie. I was as in well. a suit and tie as well. <laughs> and uh, we're just sitting there talking and everything. And 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 he asked me, you know, well, why do you want this job? You're a graphic designer. And I was like, oh, that didn't hide it very well. And I was like, well, I just want to work in the building. Yeah. Um, I want to be a part of this. I want to be a part of this. And so he said, okay, we'll we'll make a we'll make a decision by the end of the day. And it seemed, the interview seemed very well, to go very well. Like, he was telling me, like, this is our insurance. Like, how much would you want to make? You know, things like that. And and I, from interviews in the past, you know, like, you know, they don't normally say that. Yeah. You know, it's usually that's the, like, we've hired you interview. Um, and he didn't call that night. And so I was so upset. And I was like, I didn't get it. Oh, I'm so upset. Um, and then the next morning, he said, I want you to come back. And so I left my job at lunch, drove downtown, and interviewed with him. I met with John Dotson. Um, I met with the whole team, Rick, Miguel, all of them. They were all there. The person I was going to be replacing, like I met with everybody. Um, and then I ended up getting the job. Now on Jake's end, he says, which is one of my favorite stories, that I hit none of the bullet points <laughs> that he was looking for. They had already chosen someone. Um, he talked to Irma about it and was like, you know, she's weird and um, she's not someone Which I would hire. Irma probably said that's perfect. <laughs> well, she was like, well, if you like her, hire her. And he's like, well, she's not what I you know doesn't hit any of the points, but don't hire her. And he's like, but I really like her. And she's like, well, hire her. <laughs> so he hired me. Yeah, uh, and John Dotson said I was perfect because I was weird to fit yeah. in the front desk, so, which is endearing. He meant that in the most endearing way. That's where um, I probably met you years ago. You were at the front desk. Yeah, I was the They're receptionist. At the older building. Okay. Um, and so my job as the sixth employee, so my job was literally everything that there wasn't an employee for and that anyone else didn't want to do. Yeah. So I did operations, basically. So I took care of the building. I took care of all the vendors. I ran all the events. I took care of Jake's calendar. I took care of Jake. I did the front desk. I took care of the tenants. Um, and then when we moved into South Stadium, I started taking on the role of operations over there. So they went from the small place, which is north of the Triangle, and then they built South mm -hmm. Stadium, and they opened up South Stadium. Yeah, and so I helped in September once the basement was done, or October once the basement was done, I started working there. So as soon as we had power and internet, yeah. I was working there and like receiving deliveries and talking to the foreman and and things like that. Um, wow. And it wasn't until 
it felt like forever, but it probably was like six <laughs> to eight, six to eight months or maybe nine months later, uh, we ended up hiring uh, Sandy uh, Olguin, who does all of the facility stuff now. Takes care of all the facilities. She takes, so I was like, you can person. take it. I don't <laughs> want it. <laughs> to Alicia, we got to take a short break, but the, the point of the story to me is if you really want something, go get it. Even if you feel you're not qualified, you never know what you really will make a perfect fit for a company. We'll be right back with Business Leaders Live with Talisha talking about Bitwise. A little smarter. What you've been talking about rings rife through this area. <laughs> and a lot more informed. I'm a black man in, in America. I'm a survivor. It's Jim Franklin Live. Just wanted to say I like the show, dude. Weekday mornings at 8 on AM 1680, The Answer. Get it out your mouth. Get it off your chest. Russian allegations. Being politically correct. Jim Franklin lies. Scandals over the White House. Weekday mornings at 8 on AM 1680. The answer. Thinking about retirement? Well, think about this. According to the Social Security Administration, the average monthly government benefit for a retired worker is $1,369. Can you live your retirement dream on less than $1,300 a month? Well, most of us can't. That's why so many people trust financial engines to help them plan for a retirement that they can look forward to. Our one-on-one -on -one approach means that we'll talk with you, not at you. If you already have a retirement plan, we can help make sure it's the right one for your situation. And if you don't, well, we'll work together to start one, and we'll be there to help keep it on track. Don't rely on just Social Security for your financial future. Get a personalized retirement plan working for you today. Go to FinancialEngines.com and schedule an appointment with your local Financial Engines advisor. That's FinancialEngines.com. This is John Sayers with Financial Engines in Fresno and Visalia. Let's talk about the financial goals that are important to you, and together we'll develop a plan to help make them happen. Call me at 559-434-9800 or visit FinancialEngines.com. Hello, baby. By popular demand, Dick Delgado's Rhythm Roundup Oldie Show is moving to Sundays from 3 to 5 p.m. All your favorites from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Two full hours of the perfect cruising music to wrap up your weekend with the legendary Richard the Lion, Dick Delgado. So grab your hula hoop and slick back your hair for this sentimental trip through the valley. The Rhythm Roundup with Dick Delgado. Sundays, 3 to 5 on AM 1680, The Answer. What if hiring could be easier, less time-consuming, with more qualified candidates and faster results? What if hiring could be smarter? Thanks to ZipRecruiter, it can be. With one click, post your job to over 100 of the web's leading job boards so you don't spend time wondering where the right candidates are searching. Then ZipRecruiter uses its smart matching technology to scan millions of active resumes and notify the most qualified candidates to apply for your job. And the ZipRecruiter dashboard makes it easy to review, rate, and contact candidates all in one place. No wonder 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just one day. ZipRecruiter makes it simple for growing businesses of all sizes to hire the right people, no matter the industry. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. We're so confident ZipRecruiter will get you the results you need. We'll let you try it free. That's right, free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Credit products are made by WebBank. Amazon is not a sponsor of this promotion. Other restrictions apply. See website for details. I was making great progress on building my savings, but then I get hit with an unexpected car repair bill. Keeping a close eye on my credit score allowed me to buy my first house, but an unexpected medical emergency set me back. When the unexpected happened, Avant was there to help. If you need to borrow $2,000 to $35,000, try Avant. It's fast, simple, and transparent. Everything is done online. There are no prepayment fees and no collateral is required. And you can instantly check your rate with no impact to your credit score. Over 500,000 customers have experienced the convenience of a loan through Avant. No wonder Avant has an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. And now, Avant will give you a $50 Amazon.com gift card after your first payment is made on time. To check your rates and to get this special radio offer. Go to Avant.com today and enter promo code 8000 when applying. That's A-V-A-N-T.com, promo code 8000. Go to Avant.com today and enter promo code 8000. You are listening to Business Leaders with Lance Cardoza, the behind-the-scenes story of the business shakers and movers in the Valley and beyond. Once again, here's Lance Cardoza. Welcome back, everybody. I'm sitting here with Talisha Brantley. We're talking about Bitwise and, and how she got the job and got in there. 
And with Bitwise, you you are like the community liaison. What is your official title? It's community Alicia? liaison. It is community yeah. liaison. So you're bringing the community in. We were talking about uh, how you got the job, how you, how you went in, you were just persistent about it, mm-hmm. and you really wanted it. You're a graphic <laughs> designer, but you probably didn't meet all the qualifications, but no. you can learn. <laughs> yes, I can. And, and, if it, and sometimes that's what it takes. It takes somebody that's passionate about something and excited about it. You were there with Geek and Wise Academy, and I said that's where you drank the Kool Aid. Yeah, and pretty much, yeah. yeah. And you said I want to be a part of this. Yeah, yeah, that was my goal was just I want to work in this building. Yeah. Um, and and that's actually when we we tour students. That one of my favorite questions is, "What did you go to school for?" Yeah. For this, and I I say, "Well, I, got, I went for graphic design," yeah. and I didn't finish. Yeah. And uh, what? And it's like, well, yeah, that's what I went to school for. And it's like, how did you get there? It's like, well, just I followed the dots yeah. basically, and. And thankfully, I work at a place where um, I have leadership that recognizes your talent and recognizes what you are actually passionate about. And they sort of nudge you into that lane and create this um, sort of like like my role was created. You know, I love to talk to people. I love to have fun. I have I have um, three uh, outfits hanging in my office right now i have a bumblebee i have a t-rex suit and a flying squirrel suit and i'll just put it on and now people are just so used to me they just like look at me like okay and like even when i give a a tour like i've i've had tours and meetings in those suits yeah um and people i'm just like oh yeah i'm doing like a thing and they're like oh okay that's fine yeah you know it's like oh it looks like you have a lot of fun here it's just typical that's just what i do yeah um and my office um my my shout out to my my trail ladies there's a couple of them they're texting me right now um we share an office and like i have one whole side of the office of just my crap yeah just loads of stuff it's like they they were all artistic but i'm the one that has all the crap yeah theirs is very like supple there's nothing there it's very you know spartan and then i'm like i have all the figurines and (laughs) crap all over my walls and and everything but yeah <laughs> it's, it's it's the fun zone yeah it is yes, it makes it, when you want to relax and go there and just look at it then yeah it, yeah i understand <laughs> but yeah and that's the way the place is too when you get there you, uh, the ideas flow people get excited uh your your texts are yes up. they tra- just heard me say trail, trail ladies, ladies. so excited <laughs> they're excited bentley south stadium if you ever get an opportunity they're at 700 van ass downtown fresno you have to go down and take a look and go in, grab Talisha's card, maybe join one of those tours, and find out what Bitwise Industries is all about. And it's just really incredible. The outside world is looking at Fresno like Portland was being looked at, like Austin, Texas Mm -hmm. was being looked at, that those cities needed something, and that something was a technology hub of uh, a community of Mm -hmm. places like Bitwise. And they're looking at Fresno, and it's being talked talked about all over the world, and what but Jake and Irma, and I got to say, Irma is incredibly intelligent. Irma is so intelligent. Jake, you're okay. But Irma, <laughs> no, they're a great team and what they're doing, co CEOs. Mm-hmm. And uh, that, where it's going is incredible for the future. I'm very excited to be a part of downtown Fresno with Bitwise being there. Um, so go take a look at the place. But one of the things that you've been doing is concerts. So mm-hmm. concerts in that John W. Dotson Theater. So you said the outside community is coming in, renting mm-hmm. the theater. They can rent classroom space yes. as well down mm-hmm. at Duke Wise Academy to have a meeting. We've had meetings there with some of my clients. It's an incredible spot. That theater holds about 168. Uh, it has 160 seats. Uh, the capacity is 191 because mm-hmm. we also have accessible seating and things like that. So 191, and you're having concerts in the building, mm-hmm. and these concerts are selling out. You're having yeah, some great they concerts, are. really nice little independent uh, shows and some big ones. And Yeah, there's um, mostly local. Um, uh, Galen Lee came back. She was the NPR Tiny Desk winner. 2016 I always enjoy having her there she's amazing yeah um the last show was with omar nari uh, and he did his new evo mariachi yeah. uh, which was an amazing show um and we pulled that together in three weeks so we were panicking two yeah. weeks ago so <laughs> uh, and the next one is patrick Contreras with his el violin show oh, wow. um so we're expecting that probably to sell out his last one in visalia sold out uh the one coming up two weeks prior to the event um, so he's sort of challenged all of Fresno, his hometown, to sell it out quicker, which is fine quicker, with me. Yeah. You guys yep, can th- come by works. them right now. <laughs> yeah, and there's also a bar there, also during. Yeah, the I do concerts. have I do have a bar come in um, mm-hmm. and then try to have food. Um, I you know if Mabel's Kitchen or if Cafe Valpariso will be open. Mm-hmm. Uh, if not, I always try to provide food uh, to make it more of like a dinner date 
entertainment yeah. type thing where you can come and get drinks and and thing. And we're always trying to improve. So yeah. I mean, any any time that someone's like, "Oh, you could do this better," like, please tell me. Yeah, give me you some know, input. Give yeah. me some input. Yeah, it's incredible. I hear people talk about it all the time, and I think it also gives you a good way to introduce people to the building. Mm-hmm. And to come down to see, and a lot of times to see the theater, to let it know, let people know if you have a business event. I know the Fresno Grizzlies utilize it for orientation and things like mm-hmm. that. It's a great place to put everybody in one room with all the AV equipment you can imagine. So the John W. Donson Theater and the Bitwise South Stadium is available for anybody outside of Bitwise Industries uh, to come down and rent that or rent a classroom space. And Talisha would help you with that mm-hmm. and connect you to the right people. And you simply just come into that big, colorful building there at 700 Van Ness. You can grab her card and, and be able to start that journey and, and taking care of what your business needs are. Or if you're looking for a space. Mm-hmm. For I can point company. to the right person. Yeah. yeah. There's there's uh, other opportunities all over Fresno uh, with space and stuff. So any big concerts other than Patrick coming up? Um, let's see. Patrick. And then, um, oh, the Fresno Phil is going to be coming in April doing something special. Oh. Um, and then uh, May is going to be sort of a, a compilation. The Philharmonic, yes. Coming in with to... Ray and everybody are going to come in. So I'm kind of excited wow. about that one. So we're still working out the details. Cool. Um, May is um, going to be uh, several different artists. I'm working with someone, uh, promoter Johnny Q. He does Summer Sweat. Okay. And so he's doing another sort of series there. Yeah. Um, and then June is Gregor Ross. Uh, he is a he's a local guy. He's from Crothers, semi famous. Um, oh, yeah, uh, uh, country country music. I've yeah. Seen him so he's coming to do yeah. an acoustic set in June. So we're finalizing that so I can get that up and get the tickets. And then yeah. still just pounding the pavement, getting anybody I can who yeah. would like to come perform. He's really good. He's really good, Gregor Ross. Mm-hmm. I've seen him with uh, I think uh, my buddy gnarly Charlie. Mm-hmm. Had him at an event, and uh, but he's he's really good. So that's going to be a good one. How can they find out information for tickets? Um, you can go to our Facebook right now, um, and we're about about to launch uh, our website. We're redoing our website that will have our events on it, uh, bitwiseindustries.com, our Facebook, which is Bitwise Industries, um, and then also all of our tickets are housed on Eventbrite. So talking to Talisha Brantley, and we've talked about throughout this whole episode that we were going to find out, how did you come to Fresno? <laughs> You're not from Fresno, no, I found I'm not. out. I'm and not. You and you made a whole truck across the United States to, to arrive here in Fresno. You love Fresno, and... You're a big, big advocate of downtown, which is very big to me, and, and we'll talk about that when we return on the final segment here with uh, Business Leaders Live. We'll be right back with more. This is Dennis Prager, and you know about my love for the people and the country of Israel. I have an acquaintance in the Central Valley who may well rival me in his love and commitment to Israel, while his more than 80 times in the land well outnumbers the number of my own visits. I'm speaking about retired Marine Corps Colonel John Somerville. John leads groups to Israel on a regular basis, and they are not just run-of-the-mill trips. They are certainly biblically based, but John makes sure you meet with and learn from Israeli soldiers, ambassadors, all sorts of Jews, and just plain Israeli citizens. The next two tours are in January and March. John has been on the station on Saturdays and Sundays with Israel in the Bullseye for many years. Call him at 559-877-2882 for the finest in travel and learning in Israel. 559-877-2882. 559-877-2882 for the finest in travel and learning in Israel. Founded in 1944, Demera Demera Cameron is one of the largest and most successful public accounting firms in Central California. Our well-educated and highly motivated certified public accountants and staff are your true business team members and advisors. We provide exceptional auditing, income tax planning and compliance, estate planning, business and management consulting, computer system design, litigation support, and bookkeeping services. At Demera Demera Cameron, we not only work with numbers, we work with people. We're someone whose business is crunching numbers and staying on top of tax laws for both individuals and businesses. We'll help you manage your finances so you can focus on what you do best. No matter what your accounting needs may be, wanting to start a business, discuss the latest computer software, or take advantage of the latest income tax and estate planning strategies, Demera Demera Cameron welcomes your call at 559-226-9200. If you're seeking experience,
experienced professionals who provide exceptional accounting services, then it's time to add Demera Demera Cameron to your team. Call us at 559-226-9200. This is Jim Franklin. When I was growing up, I would love to stay with my grandparents. I'd love to wake up in the morning to the sound of my grandma in the kitchen cooking breakfast and the smell of bacon frying in the pan. Then I'd hear her say, come and get it. There on the table would be eggs, bacon, sausage, fried potatoes, and all the biscuits and gravy. By the time you got up from the table, you knew that you had had breakfast. Now, if that brings back memories, more important, triggers your taste buds, those days are not gone. Because that's the type of home cooking you'll find at your local Huckleberry's restaurant here in Fresno. Visit Huckleberry's for great breakfast and lunch meals reasonably priced. Let me recommend two great locations, Huckleberry's at Bullard and 41 and Huckleberry's at Champlain and Parent. They have plenty of friendly servers ready to help you get in and out fast if you've got limited time or to serve your every need if you want a long, leisurely meal. That's Huckleberry's at Bullard and 41 or Champlain and Parent. Don't forget to try their Huckleberry sauce. Tell them I sent you. Are you searching for an exceptional automotive repair facility? Look no further than Complete Car Care. They've been around since 1985. Let the experts at Complete Car Care service all your vehicle needs. They only employ ASE Master and Hybrid Certified Technicians who perform most repairs on most vehicles. Complete Car Care is a Napa Auto Care Center using quality Napa parts while performing quality service and repairs. Their repairs are covered by a national 24-month, 24,000-mile peace of mind warranty. Complete Car Care is a comprehensive digital shop using pictures and video taken during a service or repair to better inform and communicate with their customers. Complete Car Care is a California Star certified smog check station. They inspect and repair all vehicles, including hybrid and light duty diesel. For all your automotive needs, please call Complete Car Care at 559-275-0157. That's 559-275-0157. Or visit them online at completecarcarefresno.com. Giving you the inside story of business leaders in the Valley and beyond. This is Business Leaders with Lance Cardoza. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for sticking with us here on AM 1680, The Answer. Sitting with Talisha Brantley with Bitwise Industries. And we were telling the whole story of Bitwise and what's happening in downtown Fresno with Bitwise Industries, Bitwise South Stadium, Geekwise Academy, the gym in the basement, (laughs) the coffee shop, uh, the food that's in the building, uh, the tenant lounge. We didn't even talk about that. That's incredible. (laughs) And the John W. Dodson Theater and everything that's happening there in the theater with concerts. But we we didn't tell your story. Uh, Talisha, how did you come to Fresno and be such an advocate? uh... (laughs) Well, I started in a a town similar to Fresno. It's called Pensacola, Florida. Um, And it's in northwest Florida, the very end of the Panhandle, uh, beach town. Um, And it was sort of both. It's a beach town, but it's also very country yeah. Um, very uh, southern. It's where Florida is. It's like yeah. you'll be in city, and then all of a sudden, yeah. you're, you're in the and sticks. And it's most people think like Florida, oh, like Jacksonville and things like. That. No, this is yeah. Lower Alabama. Yeah. Um, and so I, I lived there for 25 years. Um, and I had always wanted to go to California. My uncle used to live out here. Um, he was a roadie, uh, worked on shows and things like that. Um, and I had come out here one time. I was five, fell in love with it. Always wanted to live here. Um, and an artist as well. I paint and things, and I love the light in, in California, how it changes. Yeah. So in 2004, my partner at the time, uh, we went through a horrible, horrible hurricane season. It was the worst our region had ever seen. Um, Pensacola almost took a direct hit uh, from a category four, three, it ended up being a three uh, storm. It was the worst we'd ever had in 100 years, um, and they just kept coming. And so after that season, and then Katrina, and was then right Katrina the was 2005. Yeah. So yeah. after Katrina, we weren't really impacted. We did lose, um, we lost power. We did get some flooding, um, and this was, you know, we're three hours, four hours away from New Orleans. Um, her mother called us and was like, "I'm sick and tired of this. Like, I lose connection with you for weeks at a time because of these hurricanes. That's it. You're moving here." And her mom so was here in California. Her mom was here in Fresno, um, mm-hmm. and so she said, "I, you know, I'm buying you two plane tickets." your father is going to drive all your stuff, get it packed. And we literally had a month. She <laughs> called us in August and we packed everything up and we were on a plane on my birthday. So we flew out of Pensacola around Rita, the Hurricane Rita that hit in uh, Houston, I think. Um, we got rerouted and then landed here and 
I stayed. They all just left. With a little dog under your arm. With a little dog, <laughs> with a cat, actually. We flew cat. with a cat. The dog rode with dad. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I stayed. They you all stayed. left. They no longer live here. They all live in different cities. Uh, they all live in different uh, well, states. So they brought you here and then they all... They dropped uh, me off and they left. <laughs> <laughs> so, but but you you created a whole new family in what you're doing with Bitwise mm-hmm. and then what's going on with Bitwise. And so uh, so you come out here and you're going to school and that's where uh, you're doing graphic? Yeah, graphic um, I actually or? tried to go back to school. Um, it was sort of a pain to get to Fresno City College yeah. um, and transfer all of my stuff because uh, the credits are different and not everything was different. So from Florida, to from California. Florida to California, so I was yeah. like, oh, I don't care. You can learn graphic design online. Like yeah. you can just do it. Um, and, and then, then I geek wise, and then that's what yeah, that opened up, and or? that's what opened up. Like I worked for. I was here for a long time. I was. I worked in the same job for about seven years. Okay. And um, I got as high as I could in that job, and then I <laughs> moved into. Well, you know what? I'm gonna take a jump and I'm gonna start working for a magazine. And then that kind of started not to work out, and I started doing more freelance work. Um, and then that's when I found Bitwise. Wow. So it was sort of like all lined up you know, <laughs> for me. It's all, it all perfect. And, and I talk about it, we talked about, about the commercial break, that sometimes the worst advocates of Fresno are the people that have lived here their whole mm-hmm. life. And they always find the negative, and not everybody, they always find the negative. I came from the South Valley. I was from Hanford, a little town in Hanford. <laughs> Lived out in the country. And uh, always, you know, I was going to be a country boy and always be in the country. I love the country, still do today. And uh, over the week, we have a ranch up in the Kalinga Hills. I love going up there and just, there's nothing, Mm -hmm. no cell service, which to me drives me. I like both. I know, it drives me insane. I have to have that break for a little bit, but get back to it as soon as I can. So I'm connected. So, uh, but sometimes the Fresno people that are here all the time, they don't see, again, the forest the trees Mm -hmm. they tend to put on blinders of why we aren't cool Mm -hmm. and we are (laughs) yeah i know there's so much stuff that happens and it's i have a a friend at work michelle she's always she always calls me like the mayor of uh, fresno because like i know everybody or mayor of downtown because i know everybody and um, she can't take me anywhere without anyone saying hi. And then I, she's like, you know more stuff about Fresno and California than I do. And I've lived here my whole life. Yeah. And I was like, well, it's because it's interesting to me. Yeah. And, you know, I had the same thing happen. I was talking at the break about, you know, I went back to Pensacola again a few weeks ago and it was after 10 years. And I had not been there in 10 years and it's, gro- I mean, it's huge. You know, there's all kinds of stuff. Like I, it was weird because like I recognized stuff and then I didn't recognize stuff and I kind of got lost, but then I kind of knew where I was. Yeah. Um, but like their downtown is, I mean, booming. Like it's great. Like they've saved all these hotel, all these old buildings. Cause that, that city is over 500 years old Yeah. and it's very, it's got Spanish influence and French influence and British influence. And so it kind of looks a little bit like New Orleans, but not, um, I found a whiskey bar. I was like, what is happening? Like, you're blowing my mind. And there was a cigar bar. And I was like, I can't even. Like, how do I bring this home with me? Can I just pack you up and bring you home? Um, And then they have the beach. And it's happening. Mm -hmm. Other than the beach. Yeah, other than the beach. It's not far from us. But, you know, it's not far from us. And there's the river, you know. Um, But downtown, Fresno is starting to see that. mm -hmm. And it's starting to happen. Like I say, it happened in Portland. It happened in Austin. Mm -hmm. It happened in these great cities. Pensacola is doing it. Yeah. It's starting to. And like you said, how can I bring you home? That's what it takes. Mm -hmm. It takes us all preaching about it, talking about it, and getting the right people involved. Yeah. Get the people, get the plan, and get the money to be able Mm -hmm. to do it. I mean, we already have, like, breweries down there now. Like, we're supposed to have, like, five or six. We have an ale trail. We have so many now we have an ale trail. Yeah. You know, it's like, there's places. Even the people that are not a beer drinker. And I've convinced several of them to go down and just hang out at Tioga yeah. or Full Circle or go have a nice meal at House of Pendragon. Mm-hmm. What an incredible place. Constantly packed downtown Fresno. They run out of food yeah. at House of Pendragon. We've they been there before. Been running out. Oh. We have been there before. Um, it, was, it was like a Friday evening late. It was probably like nine maybe. Not too late. Nine or ten. And half the stuff we wanted to order is like, oh, we're out of food. And they're running out because they're packed. Because <laughs> they're packed. There's people from lunch into the evening and... It stayed more than a month. I always look at that. Mm-hmm. If it's more than a month or two, it's a fad and it falls apart. Uh, maybe something's not great, but the place is onto something good. And there's a lot of this new ale trail places cropping up all over yeah. downtown. And it takes not just one thing. It's several things. The Bitwise family. Mm-hmm. It takes the Fresno Grizzlies continuing to do what they're doing. It continues to take everybody has to play a part in it. What the 
one put broadcasting what they're doing down there with john austin on that side of town and the simis and they all have to work together on it when we come back the final segment we're going to find out something about you talisha <laughs> that you're going to share that maybe someone doesn't know that it might create a connection for them to come up and shake your hand and say hey i do that too we'll be right back with business leaders live in the future your home's energy footprint is going to be much smaller than it is today energy efficiency and green building programs combined with government incentives and private ingenuity will reduce your energy consumption anywhere from 20 to 40 percent green is good and it will save you money our family at donald p dick your locally owned and operated heating and air conditioning company and proud to be the people's choice award winner for the ninth straight year reminds you to go green and save call today for a free estimate Donald P. Dick is introducing a whole house approach, air and duct sealing, attic insulation, hot water pipe insulation, ideas designed to drive the cost of energy down. Plus, your home could qualify for valuable energy rebates. Call Mr. Cool, Donald P. Dick Heating and Air at 255-1644. They'll show you how to save money by saving energy. For three generations in Fresno, it's been Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. Call 255-1644 and let Mr. Cool show you how to drive down the cost of home energy. Founded in 1944, Demerit Demerit Cameron is one of the largest and most successful public accounting firms in Central California. Our well-educated and highly motivated certified public accountants and staff are your true business team members and advisors. We provide exceptional auditing, income tax planning and compliance, estate planning, business and management consulting, computer system design, litigation support, and bookkeeping services. At Demerit Demerit Mary Cameron, we not only work with numbers, we work with people. We're someone whose business is crunching numbers and staying on top of tax laws for both individuals and businesses. We'll help you manage your finances so you can focus on what you do best. No matter what your accounting needs may be, wanting to start a business, discuss the latest computer software, or take advantage of the latest income tax and estate planning strategies, Demera Demera Cameron welcomes your call at 559-226-9200. If you're seeking experienced professionals who provide exceptional accounting services, then it's time to add Demera Demera Cameron to your team. Call us at 559-226-9200. You are listening to Business Leaders with Lance Cardoza, the -the behind-the-scenes story of the business shakers and movers in the Valley and beyond. Once again, here's Lance Cardoza. What a great episode talking about downtown Fresno, talking about Bitwise Industries, Bitwise South Stadium. Talisha Brantley, thank you for being on the program. But before we go, you can catch all the past episodes of Business Leaders Live at LanceCardoza.com later today. This episode and more are all right there at LanceCardoza.com. Before we went to break, where we're going to find out something about (laughs) Talisha Brantley with Bitwise Industries that maybe someone doesn't know about you. You know all your trail ladies are all sitting there. Yes. They're all... They're anxious to find out what's she going to say. Oh, no. Do they have to put their finger on the red button? (laughs) What is it? (laughs) But what do you what do you have to say? What what is it that you could share? Well, I mean, everyone knows I collect stuff. So that's that's a given. Um, I guess like in my past time, I, you know, I build models like really nerdy models. Um, I have a uh Oh, I have uh, Enterprise, an original Enterprise model, and then I have... The Star Trek Enterprise? Uh, yeah, Star Trek um, okay. Enterprise. You mean the model in the box with the glue when uh-huh. you put together the cool model painted? Yep, oh, everything. Cool. And then I have a Bird of Prey, and then I just did Robbie the Robot, um, and then I have a 57 Chevy uh, Nomad on hand. So my dad, uh, I grew up doing classic cars i guess that's something people don't know uh, was about me connection was yeah that. um so my father has a 56 chevy bel air oh. four-door and uh, that will be mine eventually and he's trying that, to give it to me now it will be mine it will be he tried to give it to me when i was he's like drive it back and i was like i can't oh from florida <laughs> from florida oh, don't yeah. have anywhere to put it yeah um and so when i was little that's what we did wow. is he was in the classic car show and like i cleaned all the chrome and we and i built models of that and so I have wow. like he, I have a bunch of models at my mom's house and of sh- like fifty six and fifty fives and and I'm sure you already do it. But how about a car show down at Bitwise? I know you probably found we have them. talked about that. Yeah. Um, I just haven't run into the right person who wants to do it. But I mean, it's totally oh, doable. I can connect you, and I know a lot of guys are probably listening right now, going, mm-hmm. "Oh, I had no idea." Yeah, no, no, we'll make sure. And then you can use the theater for your awards because I know they do that. And that would be incredible. We got to talk a sock about hop. that. <laughs> <laughs> Bitwise South Stadium, Bitwise Industries, and the future, what Bitwise is getting ready to do right downtown Fresno and all over the world. Talisha, thank you for being on the program. Yeah, thanks for having me. 
Be right back here Tuesday mornings at 9 a.m. when we have Business Leaders Live next week. I'm Lance Cardoza. Thank you for joining us, and make sure you catch all the past episodes at LanceCardoza.com. Until next week, we'll talk to you then. For the first time in its history, professional boxing at the Tower Theater. It all happens Saturday, March 24th. Tower Theater Fight Night. Featuring the Valley's best upcoming professional boxing prospects. Hard-hitting Jose Salinas puts his undefeated record on the line. Plus, undefeated Julian Lopez is ready to rumble. From Madera, the exciting Jesus, the Whip Sanchez. Originally from Cleveland.